Hi, welcome back. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2017. What have you promised yourself that you're going to do this year? How are you going to make this the year of you? What are you going to do this year that you didn't do last year? How are you going to skyrocket yourself to success in 2017? I'm hoping that's something that we've talked about over the last three videos is something would have clicked in there and think, you know what, I can do this. Because, shall I let you into a little secret? There's nothing special about me. I just do what I do and how I do. I'm a simple guy and it's so simple that I've created it into a four-step process that you're now learning. I want to thank you. Thank you for joining me on this journey of this full, full video series. Giving you the simple four-step process which is going to help you and enable you to find below market value deals. Now, just remembering and recapping that deal trading is a fantastic strategy that's going to allow you to make life-changing amounts of cash. Now, before we go into the content, I just want to congratulate you because, admittedly, we've put these videos out at a difficult time of year. There's so many distractions. There's Christmas. There's relatives, and God, we love relatives. There's food, there's parties, and there's festivities, not to mention New Year's. There's lots going on around you, but yet you've taken that commitment to improve your life by watching these videos. It's the start of a new year, and I'm impressed that you've been keeping your resolutions by keeping your commitments to yourself. And you could say that one of the commitments was watching these videos. I'm so sure that you can be making 2017 the best year of your life when you use a simple four-step process that I've given you to enable you to trade below market value deals. Now what we're going to do is we're going to recap over the last three videos. Now video number one was pretty much a bit about my story, who I am, where I've come from, but more importantly how I've evolved over the period. Now, 21 years old, I was a very confident young man where everything that I kept hearing was no, no, no. I turned that nose, turned those negatives into a positive and we went from zero to six million pounds in a short period of three years. I've also told you the story of Vicky, Helen and Gareth who have done exactly the same, who have gone off to achieve great success and life-changing amounts of money within a very short space of time. And how I've helped hundreds of other students across the country doing exactly the same. Now my question to you guys is, are you guys next? Can you do this? The answer is yes. And the one word that I want you to take away for the rest of 2017 is yes. Say yes to absolutely everything and all the opportunities open out for you massively. Now, video number two was talking about three ways to find owners. How to find the owners, where to find the owners. Now, we've looked at three tips. We looked at estate agents, how to get estate agents ringing you. We also looked at the aging strategy, and we also looked at takeaway <coughs> menus, how they can all benefit you, and how to get people calling you for you to help solve their problems. And finally, video number three was teaching you how to negotiate the deal how to create a real win-win for the homeowner, which by finding out their pain and motivation will allow them to thank you for purchasing their property at an actual discount. So today we're gonna to be talking about the third step out of the four steps that we're providing. And in case you've forgotten what the four steps are, step number one is how to find the deal. Step number two is how to agree the purchase price. Step number three is shining a spotlight on your deal. And step number four is getting it sold, getting the cash in the bank. Now, let's go back to step three. How is it that we can present your deal, which puts a spotlight on your deal so that thousands of property investors will be calling you to say, I want that deal. Take my cash. I want it. I want to be you. Now, 
Question. I'm assuming by watching this video, you may have received a couple of emails from me in the past, which means that naturally, you would have seen some deals that I've sent you. It's deal after deal after deal after deal. And hopefully that's social proof to you guys that I'm actually out there doing it myself, day in, day out. Now you would have seen the way that I put across my deals. Now, I'm hoping that when you look at my emails, you'll be, you'll be thinking, well, to be fair, that looks like a great deal. And the fact is, it is a great deal. If it's coming out to you on email, it means that it's got my personal stamp of approval. But how do you fill your buyers with confidence? Now, if you've got this deal and you want to put it out to your list of buyers, how do you put it out? Do you put it out on a napkin? What looks better? Do you put it on a napkin? Or do you put it actually out almost like a, a gold business card? Do you put it in a great format of an email? What would fill you with more confidence? Naturally, I'd like to think that the gold business card or a sufficient email of authority would win the business. Now, other questions that we've got to ask is that in order to put a spotlight on your deal, what else do we include and what do we leave out? Now, when we look at what we include, We've got to make sure that this deal stacks up to a point where everyone's going to want to call you and say, yes, I want it. What do I need to do to reserve it? How can I pay you for this deal? And that's what we do every day. Every deal that we send out on our emails that you would have seen, we get on average around 300 calls. And do you think that out of 300 people, there's going to be at least one person in there that's going to want that deal and it's going to go on to complete the transaction, which means that we've been paid. Of course there are. Out of 2016, out of the 250 deals, I can pretty much count on one hand the amount of deals that may have fallen to the wayside for whatever reason. But that also means that 245 other deals made it across the finish line. Which means that I'd like to think that's a pretty high success rate. And you guys can do exactly the same. You've got to include you've got to include details like the address, but hopefully not all the address. You've got to include the details of the property. Include some photos, possibly a walkthrough video. You know, what your vision is with the property. Because everyone's got a different vision. Now, just imagine that you're in, in a room with ten other people. You all look at the same property. I can pretty much imagine that half of you are going to have the same vision, the other half are going to go off on complete tangent and have something else. But you've got to project your vision. What makes this property so special? But more importantly, when we say we put a spotlight onto the property, how else would an investor in London find a property in Newcastle without you? And that's what your worth is. You're bringing this property to their attention. You're putting this property under the spotlight so Mr. London can see it in Newcastle. Does that make perfect sense? You also need to understand what to leave out. And the reason why we say that is if you put too much information in, there may be a point that you may try and get gazumped. I'm not saying that it can happen. I'm not saying that it can't happen. But I'm saying that with the right guidance and the right documentation, yes, you can make sure that your property is fully secure, but you want to make sure that you leave some thought for the imagination. There's so much that you can do with deals. Every property has its own specific agenda. When we look at putting the spotlight on it, what's the floor plan tell us about that property? Is it a standard single leg? What's it going to generate? What does that look like in forms of cash flow? What does that look like in terms of return on investment? What does that look like in terms of capital growth? What does that look like in terms of a yield? These are all things that you've got to think about because you've got to remember that when you put it out to your friend in London, 
he's going to look at that email just like you've seen my emails and say you know what I can see his vision I could see myself buying that property I could see myself making cash flow out of that property and as a result of that you will get paid and it really is as simple as that I can't I don't want to make it what well, I can't make even sound it make it difficult because it's not all you're doing is you're finding the property you're highlighting the property and you're selling it to the property now step four is all about getting it sold you've highlighted it you've found it you've negotiated it you've highlighted it now we've got to sell it making sure that people are calling you yes I want that deal yes I want that deal who do I pay and how do I pay and that's the key because that's when you get paid now in our brief time together we've covered three out of the four steps in this process I'd like to invite you to the fourth and final step live on a webinar that I'll be holding on Sunday the 8th of January at 8 p.m. where I'll be giving you the fourth and final step get it sold the reason why I'm doing it live so that it allows me to interact with you to show you exactly how to get it sold I'll be also giving you the alternative strategies to finding below market value deals all you got to do is click the link below to register for Sunday's free online training I look forward to working with you on Sunday it's been a real pleasure presenting these videos for you hopefully you've really enjoyed them hopefully you've taken some real value out of them hopefully you come along to see me or speak live and direct with me on the webinar on Sunday evening and I look forward to seeing you then take care